Hello, my name is Hans Anwar from Brunei Darussalam. I am a singer, songwriter, music composer, and producer. I have been in the commercial Brunei music scene for almost 20 years now. I believe the acceptance of the local music scene in the context of pop songs in Brunei started during the 1999 Southeast Asian Games in Brunei Darussalam, where a special commemorative album was produced to mark the event. The reception was overwhelming beyond the music committee's expectation. I was fortunate to be one of the artists selected to sing in the album and it has made its mark until now as it is, was historical in every sense of the word for the Brunei music scene. Music has always been a part of me growing up and I remember spinning the vinyl of uh, Bonnie M and Abba in the house where I grew up. I remember having those little electronic keyboards and trying to teach myself music. I am a self-taught musician with no formal education, despite the generosity of my parents in buying me all sorts of uh, musical toys. Having a typical academic qualification was the order of the day and they make sure of it. So professionally, I am actually a lawyer, dare I say part-time, as I have been very fortunate so far to go through this life journey as a vocal performer and music producer for artists television shows, TV and movie soundtrack, radio jingles, and official theme songs for the government and private sectors, both inside and outside Brunei. I am extremely grateful indeed. The journey, of course, was not as smooth sailing as you might think as with many other musical journey that one may have experienced. Growing up as a singer here is tough, as you will be automatically compared to international artists that the Brunei music fans listen to every day on the radio channels and streaming platforms. Hence, the only indication of success is when they listen to your song on the radio. They did not realize that it's a local song. The local radio DJs have been extremely supportive from day one, and they are one of the biggest catalysts of the success of local music being accepted on the airwaves. In fact, they even extended their generosity by organizing their first music awards Langi Music Awards back in 2002 where I won Best Male Vocal and given a special recognition award for the establishment of Future Face Production, the music production company which I owned with the help of my artist friends who have been extremely generous in their time and energy, both physically and mentally. I will never forget them. From that moment on, Brunei is proud to bring their own locally composed songs to music festivals, TV exchange programs and concerts regionally and internationally. And all of this happens just as recent as the early 2000s. Brunei artists and composers have grown in number throughout the years and as well as music producers. I am extremely proud of them as several of them have break barriers internationally. The advancement of music technology afforded by computers has made this possible and have drastically reduced the cost of having a full-blown analog music studio. Most studios in Brunei here are home-based, as the size of our little industry is very small compared to our original counterparts. But this have never stopped the spirit of our music people here, and they continue with the challenging journey as far as they can. We would have not grown so much if not for the exploration of ASEAN music. Through the exchange programs that have been afforded to us, mainly via the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports and Ready Television Brunei, we as artists and musicians were able to grow exponentially in experience and education in stage performance and presentation. I personally can vouch to that as I had my first international experience at the age of 15 years old 
representing Brunei in the 4th ASEAN Music Festival in Manila, Philippines back in 1989. Um, even though I experienced the culture shock, I believe it has made me stronger and shaped the kind of artist I am now. It has made me mentally tough, so to speak, as I have experienced uh, such grueling discipline in a big budget production for an international audience in such a short time. I guess uh, I carried on this discipline throughout my musical career, and I have been very fortunate indeed to represent Brunei in numerous ASEAN exchange music programs. Here is an interesting thing. I mentioned to, to you previously that I'm also a lawyer, right? Well, I guess the academic professional side of me have not gone in vain when I got selected to attend and learn about copyright and collective management in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for the first time. There I got the opportunity to learn about the protection of musical works by composers and lyricists and learn how this thing called royalties work in the music industry. Learning about it was a complete full circle for me as a music composer and as a lawyer. It was like marriage, unbelievable. So many things to learn and I'm still learning until now. It is one of those many challenges faced by our local composers here in Brunei. It's a learning process still, especially for the users here in Brunei and song composers. Hopefully we can achieve a measurable success uh, in this area soon. We just have to be patient. Together with the help of our international counterparts, the Brunei Composers and Authors Association, in short, BEAT Berhad, was formed and it's a working progress as it is a huge undertaking and challenge for the music community here in Brunei Darussalam. I guess we'll keep you up to date on that. The world has changed so much, especially with the availability of digital platforms. No longer we need big record labels to produce and distribute our singles or albums. Even promotion can be done in your own social media networks. But then we should never ignore the value of educating yourself in marketing as at the end of the day, you are running your own business. This aspect is more important now than ever as more and more artists are in control of their own material. Most of us here, including myself, have developed further in not just producing music, but also producing our own music videos. With YouTube and other popular video streaming platforms growing in number, nothing can stop one's creativity in this digital era. If you have the time and energy and the right financial resources, nothing can really stop you in doing your own musical journey. I found collaboration is the key to success. From my experience, you are unstoppable if you work in a team. Hence, we should continue exploring together as it helps us to get to know each other more and learn to love our own uniqueness and talent. It breaks language barriers and the love that we feel for each other is so profound and honest that we sometimes become stronger than flesh and blood. We even become one big happy family. This is how I grew up in the ASEAN music scene. I started off from just being a vocal performer, then become a composer of songs performed in this variety of regional and international shows and then my latest role in this journey, becoming a judge in a local and international competition. If you ask me, which one I like the best? I would definitely say composing and audio production. I've invested in online courses just to keep myself up to date and more knowledgeable in this area. Living in the ASEAN region, I am grateful that I am exposed to all sorts of ethnic and traditional instruments where the sounds are truly unique and special. I always try to find on how I can merge these sounds to my compositions and produce them in a way that the younger generations can learn where the particular traditional sound come from. So far, the reception has been amazing and it has allowed me to win many songwriting competitions, both in the pop and traditional world. It simply blew my mind when I look back in my journey so far. Never have I ever thought that one day I will be doing all of this and so I am always extremely grateful. 
The people who I have met so far in this journey have been very inspirational. And it helps me to grow into this person that understands and appreciates uh, the struggles of being in the music industry as a whole. Of course, with the hit of the pandemic, everything suddenly changes and we try to adopt to a new norm of working. Fortunately, with the online world and with its latest technologies, we can always reorganize our strategy and way of working. It is not easy, but I believe as humans, where there is a will, there is a way. We must be patient, take our time to regroup whatever energy that we have and learn from the past. All we have now is the present and we must make use and enjoy every moment of it. As for the future, it all depends on what we have now. So make the best of the present time. The future will follow. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my story. Stay safe, everyone. Hope one day we can meet each other in person. Bye.